We begin tonight from the pulpit, where the Anglican Church has renewed its ban on all politicians from speaking on in church. ODM leader Raila Odinga and his ANC counterpart Musali Madhavadi were among the first victims of the directive, as they were forced to sit quietly in the congregation at a ceremony in Butere. Anglican Archbishop Jackson Olesapit said political leaders had violated the sacred nature of the altar. The announcement came as Nyeri Catholic Diocese Archbishop Anthony Moheria pleaded with Catholic priests in the country to reclaim the altar. Chemutai Goin reports. <laughs> In nearly every part of the country, the Sunday service has become the new political rally following the ban on political gatherings over COVID-19. But now the Anglican Church of Kenya is going back to a directive it issued last year, banning all politics from the pulpit. From today onward, Sapit staying true to his word, political leaders including ODM leader Raila Odinga, his NC counterpart Musalia Mudavadi, Court Secretary General Francis Atwoli, governors and MPs who had come to witness the consecration of the first female bishop in the Anglican Church in the country, all simply sat through the event and none was allowed to address the gathering. The church, everybody's welcome, but we have the pews. And we have the pulpit. The pulpit is for the clergy and the pews is for everybody who came to worship. The seeming takeover of churches by the politicians has put the clergy under pressure with claims that they have surrendered their authority to politicians in favor of handouts. The Catholic Church that had also banned politics from the pulpit says there is no turning back on the move to keep politicians at bay. I plead with all Catholic priests, especially in my archdiocese, I plead with all, following the call of our chairman of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, that we be firm that the politicians have a place to come and pray, but have no space to speak in our churches. With less than 11 months to the next general election, the clergy say the leaders have abused the church premises and are beginning to compromise the very role of the church in society. We are also seeing the church is becoming now the battleground for political expediency and the church is no longer identified as a place of worship and the media is not helping us in this respect because whenever a sermon is given, they don't air it. They air political statements given in the church. Because of their greed of votes and popularity, decided the places of worship are owned by them. They are demanding in churches, in places of worship, to have a political rally to address people politically. The Catholic Church has said it very clearly that we will not allow the politicians to speak in our churches. Last year, a similar order was given by several churches, but it was largely ignored. It remains to be seen whether the latest ban will truly keep politicians at bay or will it turn out to be one of the many promises made in the country never to be fulfilled. Chemutai Goin Citizen TV.